Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn checking subtraction by adding in class 4. What do you mean by this? That is, we will be performing the subtraction operation and then check if our answer is correct by addition operation. We know that subtraction and addition are the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us understand how we are going to do this. To check the answer to a subtraction problem, add the difference or the answer to the smaller number and you will get the greater number or the bigger number. This means that difference plus smaller number will give you the greater number. Let us see with examples and understand how we are going to do this. Check 46,785 minus 24,328. Here we have two five digit numbers on which we are going to perform the subtraction operation. So write down the numbers one below the other and write down their place values. Here we have the place values ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands as we are dealing with five digit numbers. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place we have 5 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 5. So we cannot do this subtraction directly. So we move on to the tens place and borrow from the tens place or we regroup the tens place. In tens place we have 8 tens. So when you regroup 8 tens it will become 7 tens and that 1 ten will be taken to the ones place. In ones place you already have 5 ones. 5 ones plus 1 ten or 10 ones will give you 15 ones. So now in ones place you have 15 ones. We can subtract 15 minus 8 which will give you 7. In tens place it is 7 minus 2 which will give you 5. Now move on to the hundreds place where you have 7 minus 3 which will give you 4. Next in the thousands place it is 6 minus 4 which will give you 2 and in the ten thousands place it is 4 minus 2 which will give you 2. So the subtraction of the two five digit numbers will give you the answer 22,457. Now our task is to check if the answer that we have got is correct. How do we do that? We know that from the rules we have to add the answer 22,457 plus the smaller number which is 24,328. What will you get when you add them? You will get the bigger number 46,785. If you get 46,785, you can be assured that the subtraction that you have done is correct. Let us first write down the place values of the numbers. And then begin the addition from the ones place. In ones place we have 7 plus 8 which will give you 15. So retain the 5 in the ones place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the tens place. Now add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. Now move on to the hundreds place where you have 4 plus 3 which will give you 7. Next in the thousands place you have 2 plus 4 which will give you 6. Next in the ten thousands place you have 2 plus 2 which will give you 4. So the sum of these two five digit numbers that is the answer that you got from the subtraction and when you add it with the smaller number you get the bigger number 46,785 which means that your subtraction operation that you perform is correct. Let us do another sum to understand the concept better. Subtract 37,788 from 78,097 and check. First write down the numbers one below the other and write down their place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place we have 7 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 7 so you cannot directly perform the subtraction. Now we move on to the tens place to borrow. So now the 9 tens will become 8 tens and 1 ten or the 10 ones will be given to the ones place. So now ones place will become 17 ones. 
So now we can subtract 17 ones minus 8 ones, which will give you 9 ones. Now moving to the tens, please. It is 8 minus 8, which will give you 0. We know that this is one of the properties of subtraction. When the number is subtracted from itself, you get the answer to be 0. Next, move on to the hundreds, please, where it is 0 minus 7. We know that 7 is greater than 0. So now move to the thousands place and borrow from the thousands place. In thousands place you have eight thousands. Now when you borrow it becomes seven thousands and it will give one thousand or ten hundreds to the hundreds place. So now in hundreds place you have ten hundreds. Ten hundred minus seven hundreds will give you three hundred in the hundreds place now. Next move to the thousands place. Here again seven minus seven which will give you zero. Now come to the 10,000's place where you have 7 minus 3 which will give you 4. So the subtraction of the two 5 digit numbers is giving you the answer 40,309. Now we are going to do the checking operation. How will you do that? Add the difference 40,309 with the smaller number 37,788. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 9 plus 8 in the ones place will give you 17. So retain the 7 in the ones place and take the 110 to the tens place. Now add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 8 is 9. Move on to the hundreds place. 3 plus 7 will give you 10. So retain the 0 in the hundreds place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the thousands place. So now in thousands place it is 1 plus 0 which is 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. In the ten thousands place you have 4 plus 3 which will give you 7. So what is the answer that you are getting? 78,097 which is the bigger number. So the subtraction that you perform for the two five digit numbers is correct. Shall we do another sum now? Subtract 30,088 from 80,089 and check the answer. Note that we are having more zeros in the bigger number and also in the smaller number. When you have zeros in the bigger number, we will be moving to the next location where there is a digit which has a value so that you can borrow from that digit. Let us see how we are going to do that now. I have explained this concept of subtraction with zeros in the bigger number in my first video of class 4, the link to which is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Now write down the numbers one below the other and write down their place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 will give you 1. In tens place it is 8 minus 8 which will give you 0. In hundreds place it is 0 minus 0 which is going to be 0. And in thousands place it is again 0 minus 0 which will give you 0. Now move to the ten thousands place where you have 8 minus 3 which will give you 5. So the difference between the two 5 digit numbers is 50,001. Now let us do the checking operation. 50,001 plus the smaller number 30,088. Let us do the addition. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 1 plus 8 is 9. Move to the tens place. 0 plus 8 is 8. Next coming to the hundreds place. 0 plus 0 is 0. In thousands place 0 plus 0 is again 0. And in the ten thousands place you have 5 plus 3 which is 8. So the answer that you are getting is 80,089 which is the bigger number. So your subtraction operation that you had performed is correct. Let us do this sum now. Check 70,000 minus 8,000. Here you have a 5 digit number and a 4 digit number. So always write down the 5 digit number or the bigger number first and write down their place values so that it becomes easy to write down the smaller number. Now write down the smaller number in its appropriate places and then perform the subtraction operation. Begin the subtraction in the 1's place. 0 minus 0 is 0. In 10's place 0 minus 0 is again 0. In 100's place also 0 minus 0 is 0. Now coming to the thousands place, 0 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 0. So you move to the th ten thousands place and borrow from the ten thousands place which is having 7 ten thousands. So when you regroup 7 ten thousands, it becomes 6 ten thousands plus 1 ten thousand or 
ten thousands. So you give the ten thousands to the thousands place. So now in thousands place you have to do ten minus eight, which will give you two. And in the ten thousands place you'll have the number six. So the difference between the two numbers is sixty-two thousand. Now do the checking operation by adding sixty-two thousand plus the smaller number eight thousand. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. Zero plus zero is zero. In tens place again, zero plus zero is zero, and in hundreds place, zero plus zero is zero. Move on to the thousands place. You have two plus eight, which will give you ten. So retain the zero in the thousands place and take the one as a carryover to the ten thousands place. In ten thousands place, it will be one plus six, which will give you seven. So you see that the answer that you get. Is seventy thousand, which means that the subtraction operation that you had performed is correct. The next sum that we are going to see is check sixty thousand minus twelve thousand three hundred forty-five. So here we have two five-digit numbers and we have many zeros in the bigger number. Let us see how we are going to do the subtraction. Write down the numbers one below the other and write down their place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place, zero minus five. We know that five is greater than zero. You come to the tens place where four is greater than zero. In hundreds place, three is greater than zero, and in thousands place, two is greater than zero. So you move to the ten thousands place for borrowing. In ten thousands place, you have six ten thousands. So now regrouping the six ten thousands, you will have five ten thousands plus one ten thousand or ten thousands. So now we'll have to regroup this ten thousands again. When you regroup ten thousands, it becomes nine thousands plus one thousand or ten hundreds. So now in the hundreds place, you have ten hundreds. Now we have to regroup the ten hundreds. Ten hundreds can be regrouped as nine hundreds plus one hundred or Ten tens. Now, once again, we have to regroup this ten tens. Ten tens can be regrouped as nine tens plus ten ones. So now this subtraction is going to be easy. Ten minus five in the ones place will give you five. In tens place, nine minus four is five. In hundreds place, nine minus three is six. In thousands place, nine minus two is seven. And in ten thousands place, five minus one. Is four. So the subtraction of the two five-digit numbers is giving you the answer forty-seven thousand six hundred fifty-five. Now let us go to the checking part. So add the difference that you got plus the smaller number and begin the addition from the ones place. Five plus five is ten. Zero in the ones place and take the one to the tens place as a carryover. Now add the digits in the tens place. One plus five is six. Six plus four is ten. So retain the zero in the tens place and take the one as a carryover to the digits in the hundreds place. One plus six in the hundreds place is seven. Seven plus three is ten. So retain the zero in the hundreds place and take the one as a carryover to the digits in the thousands place. Now add the digits in the thousands place. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus two is ten. So retain the zero in the thousands place. And take the one as a carryover to the digits in the ten thousands place. Now add the digits in the ten thousands place. One plus four is five. Five plus one is six. So you get the answer to be sixty thousand, which is the bigger number. So the subtraction operation that you have performed is correct. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class four under the topic subtraction for the children. Of which the first topic subtraction of five-digit numbers with regrouping is dealt with in a separate video. and the link for which is given below in the description box now in this video we have completed the topic checking subtraction by addition in my upcoming videos i'll be covering combining addition and subtraction addition and subtraction of money story sums mental math and subtraction worksheet each of these topic will be dealt with in separate videos links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box thank you for watching my video see you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction If you like my video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel.